and try to set it straight and right. Okay, stop car. You can hear. <laughs> oh my goodness. I turned red. This is going to last only 45 minutes. Because somebody is going to call me in 45 minutes. And in 45 minutes, I need to, you know, hang up and take that call. Because I'm actually driving into a Brewers game. It is pouring. It is really, honestly, sincerely pouring out here. You see, there's no problem watching the game. The game will go on because it's a, it, it's a covered stadium. But the thing is, reaching from here to there, oh my goodness, this is going to be a really slow drive. That's what I was thinking, what the heck is in my back? My wallet. And my, when, I, when I called my friend, you know, <laughs> he was like, um, we can go into the game and halfway through the game, you know, I have to go and do something else. I said, okay, why are you coming in the first place? I'll go myself. <laughs> I hope this rain is not existing in, 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 in that place. I mean, once you pass this, I thought it is going westwards or I don't know which way, you know, the rain is passing. If it is going eastward, then I'm going to get soaked out. Yeah, that happens. Weather is always 62 degrees outside. These guys don't even move their ass. You know, that's one of the problems, you know. See? Fuck. Ah. What the fuck were you thinking, motherfuckers? When I decide not to be angry and not to say any profanity, people will piss me off. Anyway. Whew. If things are going like this, I may end up getting down at Della Field. Definitely end up getting down at Della Field. You know for what? For not to buy anything. I may end up buying anything. I may end up buying anything from the for just getting into the toilet and peeing. Just saying. It is pouring out there. You don't want to see anything that is going out there. Because you won't even see only this thing going up and down, up and down.
might have a multi-speed wiper. And my phone got some issues. I need to open the phone and you know it's, it's actually the the battery connectivity I think had some issues. So it's not properly charging. Don't mess with me. The guy directly behind me. Why did I get into this lane? I mean, oh yeah, this is the lane that goes there. Oh, oh. This is my lane. Okay. You don't want to be in this lane, get out. Out, 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 out. What the hell was that? I don't want some heel or something like that to start falling on my car. Okay, it's a brand new car, man. Horsey. That's the license plate of the car in front. Horsey. I like horse. You want to get in? You want to get in? Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. See? See? At least give me a wave. See? Insincere. Insincere. There's another one. See, if you want to get in, you know, you know what you need to do? You need to put on an indicator, okay? When you put on the indicator, you will know that there is somebody who want to get in there. You know, and you know, people may allow you or people may not allow you. That's up to them. But first you need to let them know that you have a plan to actually go into that lane. Get in, get in. Get in. We are all not going anywhere, anyway. <laughs> we are all stuck in here, sweetheart. <laughs> I need to be there by 4, 7 o'clock. See, before 7, 10. Exactly 7, 10, the Brewers game will start. I need to be there at that time. Whether Mr. You know, Ian Schulman is coming or not, I just don't care. If he want to come, he can come. He said probably he can watch this thing on his phone or something like that. Yeah, you want to come, man? You come. Okay, you want to go halfway through the game? You go. I'm not coming. I'm going to sit there. I'm going to freaking watch the whole game because I've been preparing there for this for the last one week earning that time so that I can get out early and my manager was sitting right there and she couldn't find the key she's like why can't I find the key? I was like what am I supposed to do? I mean I was like I couldn't ask that I didn't ask it okay honestly I didn't ask it uh, but I was like you know started talking about the new project and all those things coming up and she's like okay I, I calmed her down and I said okay I need to catch a brewers game she's like oh okay okay have fun have fun you know <laughs> uh, my goodness you have no idea, nothing, you know, the visibility is almost like about maybe 20, 30 feet. Beyond that, I can't see anything. This is fun. This is the fun, 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 fun. Fun, 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 da, fun, 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 da, fun, da, fun, 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 fun. Okay, now this is this is where the trick is going to start because I don't see anything about 20 feet behind either. Ooh, can you hear the the, the, the water or the? Water? Yeah, I think this will do it. I'm going at 55 miles an hour. I cannot I cannot increase speed. I'm trying. But I don't think we, anybody will be going at more than the speed limit, maybe. Because even if you break, it will not stop. This is it's going to pour like in the evening alone, it's going to be like one to three inches of rain. You know what one to three inches means? Three inches means about what? Six, seven and a half centimeters. You know, that will give flood in India if it pours like that. Don't come into my line. There's a state patrol. Okay, what do you want me to do, buddy? I'm going at 50. You want to get in? With, okay, you get in. I have no problem. You go arrest the guy. 
In this time, you're pulling over somebody. <laughs> Everybody is going minimum. <laughs> below, for, for what? Slow speeding? <laughs> There's another, you know, state patrol. You now the police guy is going to arrest the police guy or what? Where I should be careful because there's not a lot of wind, but there is wind. The wind drag is going to be crazy. Even the slightest wind drag will actually take me out of the road. So I gotta be very careful, especially when I'm going up. Now I am done with the up. Smell of that cappuccino. Mm. Mm. I want to really drink that cappuccino. Mm. But unfortunately, there's no chance. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I can take my hand off of this thing because there's too many cars all out. And it's a free peak time too. Yeah. There is this dude in between driving with the blinkers on. What's happening, buddy? Pull over. Let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. Yeah, if I'm going like this, I'll reach there in about three hours. I will watch some game, you know. I hope this rain is going to taper down by maybe Johnson Creek area. Because when I was coming, you know, around Johnson Creek area, it was pouring. That was in the morning. And it was pretty much steady raining all day. So yeah, there are two to three inches already probably on the floor. I mean on the ground. Dudes and daddies, steady, slow down. Okay, when the visibility is like 20 feet, what the heck are you guys planning to do? There is a lot more water on the on the road than you know falling from the sky. But it is it is really pouring raining. Luckily no big gas trucks. So in about 45 minutes this thing is going to end. Because Mr. Shulvan is going to call me. And a phone call will end this. I mean the broadcast. Anyone can get in front of me, but the only trouble is, you, know, you have to die fast. You cannot slow down. There, there is braking. You cannot brake, man. You cannot brake. Don't brake in the middle of the uh, road when it is like pouring raining. You know, when we are going at 45 miles an hour now. Well, that's the only speed you can drive. 
It is that bad that he got off you. It is pretty bad, yeah. It was getting better, but now it's slowed down again. Yeah, this is way bad. Yeah, one guy, you know, anyway, you are getting a free ticket. I, you know, I don't think yeah, you know. Ahead of the ending of the we are going to see a ball game. I want to see the end of the ball game. That's why I'm going on a weekday. See, that's why you know when they get something for free, you speak like that. Anyway, you know I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to the ball game means I'm going to the ball game. Whether I'm going to reach there by 10 o'clock or at 7 o'clock, it just doesn't matter. Because after like about John Sakri, you know I'm going to go sky guy. But then I know, from that point onwards, I know the road like the back of my hand. And I'm going to be driving like hell. Well, yeah. Able truck works. Truck tools. Okay. If a little more clear, to really, really try this. Because these guys are not driving anyway. So let me see this. I'm following the truck guy. Oh, he's breaking through. Now. He should be having good visibility. These guys are driving anywhere close to any speed limit or any control. Oh my god, you know, my safety net is going to the next lane. Now I'm kind of wide open, exposed to the elements. Only hit him. It's dragging. Because of the water. Not a lot of cars behind me or ahead of me. Most of the cars are just we pass. I pass. Oh yeah, there are cars coming. They are far away though because I am hitting nearly 70 miles an hour. See, I can drive through the rain. But the only trouble is, okay, if the people around, if there are too many cars around me, I'll just pass them like this. You know, just. Because they, they, I don't, I'm not saying they don't know. They know or they just too slow drive slow. See, this is a good time for me to take this. If it falls. Yeah, baby, yeah!
I'm getting high on cappuccino. Or I would, in my normal way, I will say, I'm getting high on cappuccino. Pass me, man, pass. You know, you are a good guy. You pass me, I'll follow you. Be... I was just suddenly thinking that my door moved or what. I looked into the, this thing, you know, camera for a second. It... Oh my goodness. I love driving like this though. Only thing is, you know, when I'm in the rain, this, this very sound of rain makes me feel like hell. And especially when it is raining, and I kept this in warm though. Still, yes, master driver. Oh man, I already reached Deerfield in about five or six now. So I need to reach there in about an hour, which I'm not going to make it anyway. Don't come back. That guy is having a hesitation. Oh no, no, no. He hesitated because there's a truck parked on the side. Now all the cars caught up with me because the rain cannot do something. Okay. This is going to get into some tornado situation, I think. Yes, clouds are way low. Dude, you must be kidding me. Go. I should have taken it. I, my eyes are itchy. I don't know why. Some dust might got in them because there were a lot of, you know, a couple of my, not cute mates, my neighbors in the, you know, where I sit. I sit in a room with two other guys. They are moving, you know. I think that they actually took all these things. It's a lot of dust. Maybe the dust might go to my eyes or something like that. It's itchy. Not a great time to be having itchy eyes. I had to get that eye drop. I will clear all this BS out. Yeah, tonight I will get that. And tomorrow, payday. It is good. It is good. It is good. Oh man, I have to pay the water bill for me. What about that? But they will eventually charge me like wine, like that and right. They won't cut that, this thing. They will fine, fine, fine. You know, it's once my fines allowed came to hundred and forty eight dollars, that's the fine. When they took it off my tax, they added it to my property tax and they took it from my escrow. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> now I am beyond the seventy miles. We are catching up, man. We are catching up. I just have to be there. I just, but you know, it's too slow. I'm not going to make it there by six. So I have to tell Mr. Truman, I'm not going to make it before six. Because he got some plan. He got every all of his plan before the game. So during the game, he just want to leave. And that's the last thing I will do. You know, I don't know what he was planning. I mean, I don't know whether he's planning any tailgating. We cannot do any tailgating in this condition.
around, guys, you know. You are playing around in the middle of the road. It's, it ain't worth it. Because you have one crash, okay, one guy crash towards, you know, there's going to be at least 20 cars behind me going to come and crash onto your ass. Because then when it goes zigzagging, there's, there's a lot of water on the road. It's not like, you know, you, you have a grip, but your grip is basically coming from the water that does not, that's, that's not there. But in the middle of the road, there is water. I think if you try to zigzag, you know, you are going to end up in trouble. This is a drag, you know, because of a massive truck passing me. That's okay, you see. Now the problem is, he's going to beat up all the water in the middle of the road. So I won't increase the speed around him. I'll let him pass. Let him go, let him go. There's something in, moving in my eye. Maybe just a feeling. We are near Lake Mills. Then it will be Johnson Tree. I my I, expectation is by Johnson Johnson Tree. You know, this rain will taper down. My hope is that if it's not tapering down, then yeah, I'm not going to make it before whatever this guy is firing. at about 70 miles an hour so not bad but I know I have 0 to minus 20 grip on the road we are going uphill and it is a lot of water pouring down you understand what is the problem there you know the water is coming down Guys, you know, if you are living in Wisconsin, you might have seen a guy in Green Bay on the Green Bay Bridge. My God, you know, he got slipped. And he went, you know, I have slipped once. Uh, and there was nothing, you know. I was like, you know, that guy at least had rain. I had nothing, you know, when I slipped. I went, I took like three dollars. That was a Nissan Sentra too. I decided to sell my Sentra on that day. I know. Even though the car didn't crash, it got like thin wheels, you know. Because of that, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't hold very much. And my mistake was mine, I agree. I brake. Then I tried to get out of the road, you know. I turned the wheel, you know, so it went three donuts. People are pulling over at uh, this thing, brake pedal. A lot of people pull over here too. I think many of my people behind me got pulled over there. Because you know, after some time, you know, when you focus, you know, keeping your eyes open. See, I'm talking. If you are not talking, you know, if you are alone, you know, not all people talk. Or listen to talk radio. You know, that's another thing. Or audio books. Some people listen to audio books. I cannot listen to audio books. Uh, I am the audio book. Country campers, nice campers.
Today, the Brewers are playing the, the Washington Nationals. I don't care who they are playing. I want to see some games. Because from next week onwards, I won't be able to watch any game. I mean, on TV, I can watch, but go and watch, you know. People are eating, drinking, I'm not eating. Yeah, oh, 51 miles. And I have to go the 51 miles. I think it's kind of clearing though. There is rain, you know, you can hear it. But you know, it's kind of clear rain now. Not like... Yeah, you know, I hate this. My eyes are under attack. Fast for you, man. 70 is not good enough for you. Man. Yeah, I kind of gave a signal back to the guy behind me, too. Because drag is big. Break, break, break. Back to time you break. Now oh, I think I can speed up a bit. It's not a good idea to go in the pools. I thought I can cruise, but nah. The drag is too much. See, when you are driving in a condition like this, uh, like a snow or you know, you know rain, don't go into cruise control because the cruise control is kind of a feel wheel, free wheel at times, and we don't know when it is going to be in free wheel. At that time, it will drag you out. And we, at that, when you start dragging, if you break, then you are in trouble. So, that, like what we both did, you know, the guy in front of me, he knows very well too. Because he took the drag and then break. So that, you know, let's take it and go slowly break. Rather than going for a sudden break. See, right now it is dragging. It is dragging. Right Dragging means like it's kind of dragging me on to the other side. I mean, that side. So I'm okay because there's a big shoulder there. You know, even if this guy is going to push me all into that, that shoulder, I'm fine. The opposite side drag will be a crazy idea because if it drags, there are cars coming from behind. You know, those guys are going to come and hit me. Now we are at Johnson Creek. <laughs> 